Good afternoon. Our interview today, March 21st, 2021, is with Connie Morella. Connie has lived an exemplary life and has had a magnificent career playing many roles, mother, educator, community leader, state representative, congresswoman, and ambassador. When I asked her what I should call her, given all these roles she plays, she said, just call me Connie. So I will just call her Connie. Both of my parents came from Italy. They both came from Reggio Calabria. My mother came from a place called Gortiria in Reggio Calabria. Uh, she and her family, I say her family, her father and her um, two brothers um, and her sister came uh, in 1909. Um, her father, my grandfather, was a widow at that time, so I never made, met that grandmother. Uh, he was a widower because she had, decide, she had uh, died when they were in Italy. Uh, my father, my grandfather, had come over at another time to visit a relative in Massachusetts and then he went back to Italy and then decided to take his family. My father made wine. Oh, Therefore, okay. when we talk about a community connection, <laughs> his bottles of wine were not sold in stores. They were given as gifts to the neighbors. <laughs> and also this whole concept, which I think is pretty Italian, of gardening, raising particularly the vegetables, uh, the, the tomatoes and the parsley and basil, and we had a grapevine. All of this, I think, is part of the culture that emanates from from the Italian pastimes and professions, which we appreciated and valued. Uh, so we had the, the ability to have a, a family of faith, a family of um, uh, loyalty, to, loyalty to family, a belief in family, and a belief in, in connections. Our first domicile was um, a rented apartment in Washington and uh, near Carter Barron. And so we did come to Holy Rosary Church. Shortly after we were here, we asked about churches and then they mentioned Holy Rosary. So we attended, not as parishioners, but periodically, because it was still a little bit out of the way. And that's when we heard about the beautiful church. As a matter of fact, later on, I even took Italian classes at Casa Italiana. Mm -hmm. I think I liked them because afterwards we would have a glass of wine and some snack. You know, I'm, I'm a political junkie. Once you've been there, it's in your blood, and you feel you should be a, a, a loyalist to the Congress concept and, and try to help where you can and try to be honest about where you think help is needed. And I think that's the major problem in our country, the polarization. The polarization is not only with regard to the political parties and what's happening in Congress, it's coming, it's emanating into the public. Right. You'll find even people are saying, well, I don't want to do this because that person is so-and-so, or even in households where there are debates, debates that become more than just I discussions, know. you know, about it. But I'm finding in, in classrooms too, in groups, more and more this polarization. Of course, I think it's up to our leaders to change it. I hope it will happen. But right now I feel sort of estranged from what is happening in the Republican Party and I don't think the Democratic Party is handling things as well as they could either in terms of the groups. Sure. For those who are gonna to listen to this, to this history, oral history project, and supposing this is a young woman listening to you, what advice would you give this person who wants to go into politics? What would you tell them what they should do? What advice? Would I, I would I would try to encourage them. Say it's really critically important you get involved in politics. Politics is many things. You know, it it it, it goes in many different directions. You can get involved in politics by writing communications. Get involved in politics through uh, campaigning. Get in politics in terms of issues uh, by running yourself. So there are many different areas. You are the seat of government. The young people. They are our leaders. And so it's important leaders. they know 
important that they know what is going. I would say no guts, no glory, try it. And uh, uh, patience uh, will make a difference with a plan, with a plan, and they go for it.